Hi, my name is Aleem, and um, this is a- Now, I've been trying to train boss mentality for just a couple months now, and I've brainstormed three major ways. One, speaking slowly. Two, being authentic and knowing what I'm talking about. And three, electrocuting myself with unsafe voltages. And this is what I brought to you today. The first component we have is a relay. This is essentially just a switch, except it has a terrifying electromagnetic sound. Next up, we have a TENS unit. This is actually originally a therapy machine, but I figured it might be safer than this absolute beast of a power supply. So I ended up just powering the TENS machine with this and connected myself to the electrodes. Lastly, we have the Ethernet module. This part's pretty self-explanatory. We're just connecting ourselves to the network so we can communicate with the AI model. But how does all of this AI work? Well, it's actually pretty similar to Siri. Think about it. Our end goal is just to have a computer recognize when we say a certain word. So we're really just replacing the word Siri with the word um. This got me thinking. If Siri's always listening to us, waiting for her wake word, is that not kind of like creepy? Well, it's actually not, and here's why. The truth is, Siri just doesn't care about you. It splits your audio up into frames, which is then processed in groups of 0.2 seconds. This is all confirmed through a deep neural network, or DNN for short. From there, if there's even a small chance that you might have said, hey Siri, it will move on to a more accurate DNN. This then attaches a confidence score or HMM and if it's above the threshold, typically being 0.5 or above, you can then ask Siri your question. Where can I get chicken? <laughs> now there's just one thing to go through before we go around and testing this machine. I have created a Google Colab. The link is in my bio. This will let you go over how turning audio into spectrographs actually work and you can do it real time in a VM. This is a virtual machine for you to run my own code. This all works on Google's data set with words like go, no, or yes. So there's absolutely 0% chance anything can go wrong. All you have to do is run the blocks. It'll run you through step-by-step step on how each step really works and what each function of the code does. You'll get a more in-depth look on my article coming soon, but we're essentially just importing everything, getting the data set from Google, and then running it through our code. This will get us the spectrographs of how exactly it looks. You can clearly see the differences between words like yes and words like stop. We can then turn this into a waveform spectrograph, which is easier for the machine learning algorithm to actually pick up. But again, more details in the article, now let's get into shocking me all right why did i do this And um, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to subscribe so you can keep track on my next projects. And lastly, before I go, enjoy a Snapchat clip of the first time I got this working. Let's start. So, you already know my name's Aleem, right? And um, it's just like... Adios!